There's a bright red tractor on Spring Hill Farm Who's always hard at work or play If Farmer Fee's got a problem or a job to be done It's Tractor Tom that saves the day Here's Tractor Tom, 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 Tom What would we do without you? It was a lovely autumn morning at Spring Hill Farm, but it looked as if it was going to be one of those days. For a start, Wheezy was feeling sorry for himself. He'd finished harvesting the wheat, and now he was back in the barn again, with nothing to do. Tom tried to cheer him up. But it was no good. Wheezy was feeling a little bit useless. Over in the farmhouse, Fee was having trouble with Purdy because, like a lot of cats, she was a very fussy eater. Here, Purdy, breakfast time. What's the matter? You've always liked this cat food. I bought it specially. Oh, honestly, Purdy. Here, have some milk instead. Don't tell me you've gone off milk too. Well, you'll just have to have something later. I'm meeting Matt in the orchard. We've got a lot of apples to pick today. Hi, Fee. Whoa, we've really had a bumper crop this year. I know. We'd better get started. Yeah, I'm ready for a cuppa. Go ahead. I'm just going to pop back to the house to feed Purdy. Or oh, try to, anyway. Look, Purdy, lovely sardines. How about some kippers? Oh, Purdy, you really are a fuss pot. Meanwhile, Tom checked on Wheezy. He was still bored and fed up. Tom wished he could think of something to keep the old combine harvester occupied. Tom! But just then, Fee called him to take her back to the orchard. Wheezy decided to take a nap. For now, but there's still plenty more. I know. I hope we'll be able to sell them all. You'd better take Rev's load to the market and see how you get on. We'll put the rest in the barn for the moment. OK, Fee. See you later. Right, Tom. Let's get back. I've just thought of something Purdy always likes. A 
lovely saucer of cream, your favourite. Oh no, surely you haven't gone off cream too? Meanwhile, Tom had unloaded all his boxes of apples. There were so many of them that they even had to put some on Wheezy. Poor Fee. Purdy was being fussier than ever. Cabbage? Baked beans? Mushrooms? No. Oh, I give up. Wheezy was still enjoying his nap. And although he didn't know it, he was making rather a mess. Farmers have got loads of apples this year, so there's no point in me taking any more to market. Oh dear, what are we going to do? I don't know, Fee. Well, I've got to feed the chickens. I'll call you later, OK? OK. Matt was about to go home, but Tom stopped him. He had an idea, but he needed Matt's help. What's up, Tom? You want me to look in the barn? Whoa, what a mess! How did this happen? And then Tom started to tell Matt his great idea. Oh, I get it. All right. Hmm, maybe. Let's give it a try. What on earth's going on in the barn? Matt wanted to surprise Fee with Tom's idea, so he told Rev to try and keep her out of the way. Don't be silly, Rev. Why can't I go in? What do you mean it's dangerous? What's Matt doing in there? Making you a new exhaust pipe? Well, I suppose your old one is a bit noisy. All right then, I'll see you later. Inside the barn, everyone was very busy. Let's see if it works. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Come on, Rev. There's something fishy going on and I want to know what it is. It's OK, Fee. You can come in now. Presenting the Wheezy Special Mark 1 Apple Juice Making Machine. Oh, Matt, that's brilliant! Now we'll be able to use up all the extra apples. Don't thank me, thank Tom. It was his idea. So, thanks to Tom, everyone was happy. Matt was off to the market with loads of lovely apple juice. Wheezy was feeling useful again. And Fee didn't have to worry about all her apples going to waste. The only thing she had to worry about 
was Purdy. There's a bright red tractor on Spring Hill Farm Who's always hard at work or play If Farmer Fee's got a problem or a job to be done It's Tractor Tom that saves the day It's Tractor Tom, 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 Tom What would we do without you? Three cheers for Tom, 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 hooray We couldn't do it without you It was lambing time at Spring Hill Farm. Tom and Fee had come to feed the sheep. Where have they gone? <coughs> oh no! Someone's left the gate open. <coughs> One sack of flour for you, Rev. <coughs> and some jars of honey for the little guy. Can you manage that? <coughs> Excuse me, phone. Hello? OK, I'll look behind the barn. Fee's lost the sheep. Again. Rev teased Buzz that he was too small to carry a proper load. Buzz said that he might be small, but he was much faster than Rev. Rev didn't agree. So they decided to have a race. Out, all of you. You should be looking after your lambs. Buzz and Rev were ready to race. Ready, steady, go! Oh, look. Have you lost your mum? <coughs> you must be hungry. Let's take you back to the farm and find you some milk. Buzz and Reb finished their race and then started to argue about who had won. <coughs> What was all that noise? Look what we found! <laughs> that's not your mummy, that's Tractor Tom. How come Tom's gone white? It must be dust or something. It wasn't one of you two playing games. Hmm, it's a mystery then. Well, there's no time to solve it now. The lamb needs some milk. Come on, little one. <laughs> Buzz and Rev knew why Tom had turned white, and they thought it was very funny. She won't drink it. She wants her mum. No. She wants Tom. Shh. 
She thinks Tom really is her mum. Well, it's an easy mistake to make. She's only a baby. <laughs> we need to find her real mother now. I'll do that. I'm good with sheep. <laughs> there you are. Go and find your mum. <laughs> hey! Wrong way! Wherever Tom went that day, the little lamb was sure to go. <laughs> and there was nothing Matt could do. And I am trying. That's your mama. <laughs> Ow! You are a lamb, not a tractor. You eat grass. You do little lammy jumps in the air. And come with me. You drink water from the river. Help! I give up. Go and be a tractor. <laughs> and who's been chucking rubbish in the river? I don't believe it. It's a pram. Buzz and Rev were still arguing about who had won the race. The only way to decide was to have another race. Hey! Where do you think you're going? What happened to you? I fell in the river. Why? It's that lamb. She's driving me mad. I thought you said you were good with sheep. But I'm rubbish with sheep who think they're tractors. Never mind. I've had an idea. Come on, Tom. I need your help. Don't be like that. <laughs> Tom, I want you to stay here with your little lamb. It's just till she gets used to being with the other sheep. I think you make a wonderful mummy. See you later. Buzz and Rev were ready to race again. This time, they'd find out who really was the fastest. You've got that flour and honey that I loaded up, have you? No, I haven't seen it. That's odd. Buzz, Rev, stop! I knew they were up to something. joined in the race too. What's got into them? Tom, what are you doing? He was rescuing the lamb. Well done, Tom. not white anymore, so the lamb doesn't think he's a sheep. But how's she going to find her real mother? Now I've got an idea. <laughs> Matt, where did you get that Pram from? I found it in the stream. And that's your brilliant idea, is it? No, this is my idea. A sheep tractor. That is the worst idea I've ever heard of. <laughs> you were saying? Maybe you are good with sheep, Matt. You found the lamb a new mum. And you looked after her and saved her from the river. I don't know what I'd do without you. Come on, let's go back to the farm. What about Buzz and Rev? 
They can stay stuck at the trough. They caused all the trouble in the first place. Rev, you are in big trouble. But if you're very lucky, Tom might tow you home tomorrow. You too, little fella. Back in the farmyard, Fee and Matt cleaned and polished Tom. I'm glad we got that lamb sorted out. You know how sheep can be once they get an idea into their heads. Oh, no. Look! <laughs> they all want to be tractor sheep. What are we going to do? I think Tom's just going to have to get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>